goodwill message. Don't tell her goodwill message. Hey, John. John and Holly didn't tell us, uh, guys, you know, uh, Francois, uh, Janet, uh, Pauline, and myself, and uh, Alex uh, came in late, but uh, he was there too. Uh, that this would be a heck of a lot of fun to sort of have everybody into the Mississauga uh, Oakville area for this reunion. And um, the fun began with, with a lot of the replies and one of the things that I'm sure that everybody felt was that we were uh, uh, pouring an awful lot of information to them and we started back two years ago and we wanted to compete with a junk mail, of course, and, uh, <laughs> uh, we, uh, but we got some interesting replies and, and uh, I'll just give you a, a little uh, tidbit of, of, of uh, what we got. Like, uh, for example, um, uh, Ken wrote us, uh, you know, this was back in summer of 92, and uh, he said, uh, 1994, wow! My calendar for 94 is completely clear. In fact, it hasn't been printed yet. <laughs> By that time, maybe the, con uh, the constitutional problems will be resolved. The Serbs and Croats will love each other. The Irish Protestants and Catholics will wonder what they've been fighting about. The Sikhs and other Hindus, fundamentalists, Muslims, and other people will tolerate each other. And... The Blue Jays will win the World Series. Ha! 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 And that's what he wrote. Well, you know, hey? That's Ken Reed. That was last year. Hey, right? Didn't I say that? Anyway, uh, uh, he, uh, you know, he was, he hit uh, one out of ten. <laughs> well, that's not too bad. <laughs> I said, we're not uh, uh, going to Toronto, we're coming from Toronto. <laughs> and if that makes a difference to the directions of your route, uh, please let us know. <laughs> One thing I was going to write back and say, you know, just change the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of to Toronto, from Toronto. <laughs> um, Connell Smith, wherever he may be, uh, seemed to take some... Uh, um, uh, had a little fun with our English font that we put on our invitation, you know, and he sent back a letter uh, that even I couldn't read. Can <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Reed noted that of the 30 odd classmates listed, only eight remained in Quebec. Well, that's been corrected tonight, right? Seven. No. Seven now. He says, one of whom was deceased and therefore not as active as most of them. <laughs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> Ed Knight, for example, indicated that he and uh, Mark, they were back, can you hear me here? Yeah. Uh, that they are back to skiing. This was, you know, one of our epistles. Um, they were awaiting the maple syrup season uh, to begin in Piedmont. He asked, Will Alan Held follow up with a translation of his question as to whether G is really constant, <laughs> or did I lose the idea in the rambling prose? <laughs> so, Alan, <laughs> over to you. Um, and you know that, uh, as John said, a lot of folk couldn't make it. Uh, George Christopher called to say, and he was really going to come, and Andy Sir was going to have him over to his house, but uh, he has emphysema, he carries around a uh, uh, oxygen with him and, and it just just wouldn't work. Bob Skomorowski, uh, uh, we, we, we kept writing him and, and Alan Held uh, was in charge of uh, let's get Bob Skomorowski uh, to, uh, to attend, uh, but uh, this is what he finally wrote us in uh, June the 24th and we got it a little later and uh, this was to Al Ross Campbell. Dear Ian, <laughs> I'll read it to you anyway because it's sort of nice. Thanks very much for sending me news about the coming class reunion. I wish I could say I would be there in July, but I've received some bad news recently, and he's not too well. About three months ago, when I was unloading some suitcases from my car, collapses, severe chest pains, shortness of breath, diagnosis is heart trouble, angina. Taurus, my great fear is that uh, it does not lead to congestive heart failure because of the rheumatic fever which I had when I was 10 years old. He's retired from work now, he spends time puttering around, 
uh, taking medicine, <laughs> doing exercise, and getting lots of rest. Say hello to everybody for me. Didn't get a chance to answer the nice letter that Alan Held had written, uh, but he did enclose an article for Alan, and Alan has got that. Okay. Where does he live? And uh, he lives in New Jersey. New Jersey. Uh, we have uh, Peter Molnarik. Uh, Peter Molnarik, well, I think you know that he's, uh, uh, he just said he received the latest update. Sounds like a fun time, pleased to see. There'll be a good turnout. Unfortunately, Heather and I will not be able to attend. Our elder daughter is being married on July 2nd, 94, in Montreal. Oh, excuse me. Oh, poor oh, oh, <laughs> sense of priority. Not, not, not a good excuse at all. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's write him a letter. <laughs> Enjoy the reunion and our best regards to all. Uh, Peter Milner. That was to Dr. Campbell, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that Dr. Ian Campbell? Dr. Ian Campbell. Now, what have I got? Oh, yeah. Bob Bogioy, he's in Vancouver. He's a stockbroker. And I'll tell you one thing don't take any tips from Bob Bogioy. <laughs> I called him back a while ago and he gave me a tip. And I said, Well, it's worth a thousand bucks. Well, it isn't worth a thousand bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Let me also tell you his, his daughter's working for him now. And uh, his excuse for not coming was that uh, his daughter was taking a vacation. <laughs> so he didn't look after the baby. grandchildren. Yeah, that's Bob Bogula. Uh, Lee Hutton. Lee Hutton was uh, going to call. He called and he said he had just, he was going to call and say he was coming. However, he got some uh, word from his buddies in the Air Force. He was a radar technician, as you probably all know. And they're having a big event, and I think it's next week, and he felt that two trips to Montreal, or to Toronto from Montreal, would be a little bit uh, beyond his uh, interest. So he does send his regards, he misses the gang, and he would have liked them in here with bells and whistles. Bob Rivard, uh, he sent regrets and best wishes, uh, and uh, he, he called. And, uh, and we heard about Gelber, we all know about Gelber. <laughs> Jan Jan Janet Bollinger can give you more information. <laughs> Uh, she had lined up a whole lot of people to go downtown Toronto to see his art collection. <laughs> Did she embarrass him? <laughs> Peter Halicus, I couldn't get a hold of Peter. Uh, I left messages on his machine, but he, he's probably too busy. Uh, Mike Questel was coming, however, uh, it ended up that he had a convention or something, couldn't make it. Um, and now, Dave Saunders. Uh, Dave Saunders wrote us, and by the way, we all tried to get Dave here. Uh, Janet wrote a very nice letter, Janet Bollinger, um, after he had refused, well, he had uh, said he couldn't make it. And then I wrote a, a letter and, and talked a lot about our past and our fishing and our tennis and all that. Anyone send him a ticket? And <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, this is Dick Thompson. Dear Dick David, Thompson. we've taken, we've taken <laughs> a collection of <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it says, uh, Dear Ross, thank you very much for your good letter. You have done well to be semi-retired at such a youthful age. News to him, I'm fully retired. <laughs> I can't come to the class reunion because I have responsibilities at the beginning of our academic year when the postdoctoral fellows arrive to join our training program. He tends the consultative uh, services during the months of July, show the flag, cover the emergency medical service on July the 4th. He would certainly, and I said, of course you should come because you're the class president. The president right. And he said he would support an insurgency. <laughs> to replace him as class president. But we've already got an insurgent. The nerd sitting over there. How many years? Half a nerd. Half a nerd. It says, now this is interesting, Donna and I have two remarkable events to look forward to next spring. We are expecting to be made grandparents in early June. And in May, mid May, our third son graduates from medical school, which will leave only fourth son in school. 
His master's program should take only one more year. I'm looking forward to a couple of years of employment without major liens on my salary. <laughs> <laughs> and don't we know. <laughs> okay, well that's the, uh, the gang that isn't coming. Uh, I got another, okay, something else. Okay, uh, Janet uh, Bollinger uh, asked me to say um, uh, a, a very great thank you to all the ladies that, that helped with this wonderful meal that we've all enjoyed. Uh, and we all deserve a great time. They were all very gracious uh, when she called and uh, just uh, were delighted to uh, participate, so uh, that says a lot. Now, um, uh, I think that uh, since John and Holly Jonas really are the ones to thank for uh, starting these reunions and keeping them going, I believe they deserve a tremendous round of applause for their tremendous contribution. <laughs> A, uh, a letter that uh, came uh, to uh, Harold uh, Bergen um, and he was uh, quite taken with this uh, and this was a year and a half ago and uh, it, uh, it it said um, at attention to Harold uh, the Campbells and Bollingers are our hosts I believe uh, and it uh, it was written by um, um, well Ethel and uh, Len Unsworth That's right. And uh, it said that uh, my wife and I are, are intend to join you on the 45th re, uh, anniversary in Toronto and are looking forward to the gathering. And uh, it was just shortly after that that uh, uh, Bunny uh, um, uh, died. And uh, so I think that we may, uh, it would be rather nice if we spent uh, uh, maybe a couple of seconds, a minute uh, in, uh, uh, in uh, thought for these people that have passed away. Thank you. Okay, we'll turn it back to John and uh,
actually doing it without the piano? Why am I doing it on any stage? Mississippi, that's the old man that I long to be. What does he care if the world's got trouble? What does he care if the land ain't free? Old man river, that old man river, he must know something. But don't say nothing, he just keeps rolling, he keeps on rolling along. He don't plant taters, he don't plant cotton, and them that plant them is soon forgotten. But oh man river, he just keeps rolling along. You and me, we sweat and strain, body all aching and racked with pain. Tote that barge and lift that bale. You get a little drunk and you land in jail. Ah, get weary. And sick of trying, I'm tired of living and scared of dying. But all night. 